I think you've missed walking, haven't you? You're a little cutie. Oh, you're so cute. Come on. Hello, lovelies. The video's gonna be a little bit shaky because I'm currently walking my dog. Um, but today I have a different video for you. Um, I've been wanting to do vlog style videos for a while and I had an idea or a thought coming home from work the other day that um, I thought I would like to share with you guys. And I like, I thought about it for a long time and kind of hashed it up into this like big thing. But um, I had the thought the other day um, that oil and water don't mix. And I was like, that's kind of interesting because if you think about it as people, like certain relationships don't work out because the two of them just don't mix. So like one of them would be oil and one of them would be water. So I thought about it more and more and kind of came to the conclusion, if you think about it in terms of food, which I like food, I don't know about you, but I really like food. So I like to think of analogies with food. So if you imagine that each person has two food items um, that represent them. So if you imagine that each person has a main dish item um, I guess I say main dish, but that's not the best way to describe it. So like a sandwich or a salad or like ice cream or, um, just main items, right? And then each person also has a side item. So like a condiment or a topping or, um, like a french fries could be one, just things to go along with the main item, right? So your main item represents who you are as a person. It's dogs. And your side item represents what you have to offer someone else, right? So typically, your two items will not go together. Um, because most people, you know, want to find someone else that they, they can love and cherish and spend their life with, right? All right, take the example of Jane and Mark. So Jane has a main item of chicken and a side item of maple syrup. Mark has a main dish of pancakes and a side item of, we'll say Cajun seasoning, right? Cajun seasoning goes really well with chicken. So what he has to offer her in a relationship goes really well with who she is as a person. And Jane, Jane's maple syrup goes really well with Mark's pancakes. So what she has to offer him goes well with who he is as a person. So that would be your typical like healthy relationship. The two get along, you know, you may fuss and fight every once in a while, but you love each other and you make it work, right? So sometimes people are self-sufficient. So who they are as a person, I guess it kind of doesn't make sense with my analogy now that I think about it. But basically they don't particularly need someone else to feel happy or they don't really want anyone else because they're happy on their own, right? So take for instance, I have written down the example of Chris. Chris's main item is corn dogs, right? And his side item is french fries. So french fries and corn dogs go really well with each other. Hmm. I mean, I would eat it. So they go really well with each other. And he doesn't particularly feel like he needs anybody else in his life. He's quite happy on his own. But eventually, he decides that he wants someone else in his life and make them happy and cherish them and to make him happy and cherish him. And he finds Sydney. They start dating and they get along really well. But a lot of people find that their relationship is a bit odd. For whatever reason, everybody's inputting on their relationship. I don't know if that's the best for you. Uh, maybe they're not the one for you kind of thing, you know? So, 
Chris has a recap, has corn dogs and french fries, and Sydney has ice cream and ranch dressing. I need like a, like a selfie stick. My face is really cold, which is why it's turning red. And my fingers feel really frozen because it's really cold outside today. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but if you have ever gotten a milkshake and french fries from a fast food place and you dip the french fries into the milkshake, I think it's pretty good. It's a little bit sweet, it's a little bit salty. But it's quite delicious. Some people, probably some of you watching this now, are like, ew, that's weird. And it is, but it's delicious to the right people who enjoy it. And I don't know if you've ever put ranch dressing on corn dogs and or french fries, but I like to put ranch dressing with everything. I think it's delicious. So, to some people, their relationship seems a little bit odd, but the two of them really like each other and really worked well together and they don't really care what other people think, right? But sometimes you're just in, people will say the same things about maybe they're not, maybe they're not the right one for you, maybe Maybe I think you guys should break up and, you know, you should move on type thing. And you've got to know the difference between an odd relationship and a relationship that just doesn't work. I had to switch hands. It's really cold. And my fingers were hurting. And my arm was tired. you got to know the difference between a relationship that people find odd but works for you and a relationship that just doesn't work. So... Take for instance, Lizzie and Jack. Lizzie has a main item of sandwiches and a side item of steak marinade. And Jack has a main item of steak and a side item of olive oil. As you can probably already tell, Olive oil does not go well on sandwiches, but marinade goes well on steak. So Jack is quite happy and satisfied in the relationship and he finds it works well for him, but Lizzie is pretty unsatisfied and doesn't really think she loves Jack. Yes, that's his name. She loves Jack and she wants to make it work as best as she can but it's really just not well for her because what he has to offer her is not what she needs to be happy. So if you're struggling in your relationships, you really just got to sit down and evaluate um, what they offer you and what you need from them. You don't necessarily have to think of what your main item or your side item would be because there's not, particularly I think, it's just an analogy to explain to other people, not anything to help you self-reflect. There's plenty of resources out there to help you reflect on your relationship to find out if it's healthy and good for you. I should have brought my headphones. I just thought of that. Anyway, um... So, but this analogy is not good for self-reflection necessarily as far as, you know, finding out what your main item is and figuring out if it's working well between the two of you. But it can get a thought started of, well, are they really the one for me? So you really just got to sit down and I actually have made a list of the things I've defined who I am as a person and then because of, you know, because of A, I need B type thing. So you really just got to think about who you are, what makes you you, what do you like, what do you dislike, what do you want from somebody else, 
You know, do you want them to cuddle you? Do you want them to kiss you? Do you specifically want them to like hold your hand in public? Um, uh, do you want them to have deep conversations with you? Do you want them to put down their phone while you're eating dinner? Those types of things. Just really reflect on who you are, what makes you happy, what you want from your partner, and evaluate if your partner does those things, makes you happy, those kinds of things. And just, it may not be something you really want to do, but it may be something you that might be necessary to do, especially if you've been kind of wondering lately about, well, you know, my mom kind of thinks he's not the right one for me. And maybe I should, you know, reflect on it for a little bit. But especially if you're in a toxic relationship, you need to try to get out of that. Because it's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for the, the, the person being toxic to you. It's just not a good situation for anybody, really. So I hope my little thought process has helped you guys at least get a thought going. Um... And if you're in a happy relationship, stick with it. Even if people are telling you, I don't know. Because if you're happy and your partner's happy, then what does it matter? If you like this video or if this video helped you at all, give it a like. If you have anything you'd like to add or if you have any ideas uh, that maybe this sparked a thought of your own, leave it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed my little rambling and would like to see more stuff like this in the future, Go ahead and subscribe and I'm doing one video a week so you'll see a lot more content from me this year hopefully and as always stay magical my friends